Heavy Dragon here. Uh, pardon that the light is pretty much awful in here. Um, <laughs> lights. Uh, my my ceiling light. Uh, this is this is our well. This is my closet. Anyway, <laughs> our main room out here. Our ceiling light is well. It used to be terrible, and now it's dead. Um, <laughs> so these are these lights. I have these. I have these two table lamps that are pretty bright. I have the closet light, which is decent, and then I actually have my kitchen light on in here too, um, which doesn't help much because here's the door that's blocking most of that light. Um, but anyway, I'm coming to you today from my closet. It's actually a very nice closet. It's a nice, like, walk-in closet. Well, kinda. I mean, it's a shallow walk-in closet, but there's there's stuff back here. Like it goes like three, three four feet back this way. Whee! Um, <laughs> that was fun. Um, yes, back on track. Uh, my closet. It's like the one nice thing in my crappy apartment. I have a nicer closet than I'm used to having. Um, uh, so. What I'm actually talking about today, and why I'm coming to you from the closet while I'm being texted. Mr. Dragon is not here, he is at work, and apparently he is on break and has texted me right after I've started this video. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm gonna keep talking, because I'm gonna get around to the point. I'm coming from the closet today, because my birthday is actually Sunday. Um, so. I decided, I'm turning 25, and what I decided I wanted, originally I wanted to have an entire ball, and I'd get the big poofy ball gown, and you know, I'd make a grand entrance, and everyone would fawn all over me, and it'd be like having a wedding without having to get married, because originally I wanted to be like, married by 25, but I'm probably just one of those women who wanted a wedding by 25. I'm like. I just wanted to be a young bride because I wanted pretty wedding photos of me in a pretty dress. So the solution was, I'm turning 25, I'm buying myself a dress. I actually ended up with two dresses, and these are, um, these are the, uh, well, we'll talk about the actual dresses themselves in a second. Um, these are bridal quinceanera sweet 16, uh, ball. Although ball gowns these days are like like what a ball gown style is these days is actually like a slim fitting, uh, like very elegant, I, elegant in quote marks. That's you know everybody's a little bit. That's subjective. That's what I'm looking for. That is a subjective term, elegance, and what you think is more elegant or not. But um, these days, like ball gowns are not the big poofy ball gowns. They're slimming and like black and red and really refined but that's not me uh, those dresses have a place those dresses look great on lots of women I like big poofy ball gowns that are like the big just the big like I hate that like my reference point is like the the two cultures that wear these dresses like most commonly, um, right now, we, we talk about, cause, um, like, white girls in prom dresses don't always, like, I don't know, like, we always sell them as prom dresses, but I don't see them on, like, kids in media going into prom anymore, like, I, I think it's less the style, but it's, uh, the, these dresses have really persevered as, like, a quinceanera thing with, um, Hispanic cultures that celebrate that and then also um, evidenced in like I, Like I hate that I'm referencing this because I hate that I watch this show sometimes But like my my big fat gypsy American wedding or whatever where they have the like Huge dresses that they like custom make and it's like actually a cultural thing for them like obviously uh, I'm like I don't, I don't know. I don't actually know how like other other actual ethnic gypsies feel about that show, so I, I don't know how I feel about admitting that I watch that and I, like, love the dresses and stuff, but, like, that's, that and, like, because, well, because my dresses are not white, they're not necessarily bridal, 
but they are still bridal. Um, even like bridal dresses though are really seem like the fashion is pulling away from this particular style of dress that I wanted. But anyway, ball gown. I'm gonna call it a ball gown. It's big poofy ball gown. I wanted to have a ball. I wanted to be the queen of everything. Or, well, the princess of everything because like all of the attention, none of the responsibility. Because <laughs> that's a thing. Um, but yeah, like now that I've just said a bunch of stuff from my mouth, what I was gonna originally address is that I bought these dresses on Amazon, like on the cheap end, like the one, one of them I bought was $75 and I paid like another $40 to expedite the shipping. And it arrived a day earlier than expected, which was exciting. Um, and I'm happy about it. So, cause this is kind of like a review of that. That's where I was going with this. Um, cause, okay, we'll, we'll start with the, uh, this was the dress. I, I ended up with two dresses. Um, this is the dress that is my, my birthday dress that I am, am intending to wear out. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fidget this around so we can see more of this and stuff. Um, so this is, this is my purple dress, my purple birthday dress. Um, showing you, trying to show you as much of it as I can just from this position. Um, this is the one that was the initial price was 75 and then, um, Without expediting it, it was not going to be here in time for, um, I'm probably doing some birthday events this entire weekend. Like, I actually work on my birthday, but the, like, two days before, I don't work, so I'm, like, doing dinner with my mom and maybe just, like, wearing this dress out to wherever I feel like, you know, because that's a thing, and, well, like, my friends are all going to be out of town this weekend is the problem. <laughs> Which is why I'm not having like a party party and I'm not sure where I'm going in this dress anymore. Um, but I might just slap it on and walk down to my favorite bar, which is in walking distance, and be like, uh, bartender get me drunk. I just, you know, I'll look great and I want to be drunk. <laughs> Who knows? Um, but yeah, this was the one that I expedited. It was like $40 to expedite it because I'm pretty sure this came from China because it was shipped DHL and that's usually from China. Um, so it actually got here incredibly quickly, like incredibly quickly for um, something that's coming from China. And I mean, I paid for that. Um, but it, you know, it like got here and it, you ordered it on a Friday and I got it on like a Tuesday. It shipped in like four business days and was here. And I'm really impressed with that to be honest because I've also been through the process of like, oh, I don't feel like paying for the extra shipping so I'm gonna wait the month for this item to come from China. Um, but it's here, it was here way in time. It is actually, um, there's a little bit of there's a little bit of fray on this thing, uh, on this this part right here, which um, mostly happened since it's come out of the package, just because this edge was not as secured. But being like a, a garment maker myself, I have all of the materials required to keep that from becoming an issue. So for me, it's totally worth the money because I'm like, anything that's wrong with this dress, I can fix. Um, so that, that's actually, um, you know, another factor in me deciding that, okay, that dress is pretty cheap and it comes from China. I don't actually know what quality it's going to be, but I figured so long as it was like a dress, um, even if it was like a dress I could only wear a couple of times, I'd be able to like fix little things here and there. Like, um, this. Uh, this dress has what's known as a privacy panel, if you, sorry, <laughs> this dress has what's known as a privacy panel, um, if you're into corsetry and dresses at all, or if you, you don't know, if you want to get into it, that's, that's what we're going over. Um, this is a privacy panel and it goes behind the lacing so that it doesn't have to necessarily lace all the way together like that. 
In fact, it's rarely ever intended to. Um, it's usually meant to look a little bit like that. Um, sorry, I'm catching my breath. <laughs> Talking really loudly. Uh, whatever. <laughs> but, um, yes, the privacy panel has this snap. Um, my, my other dress it doesn't even have this. This is actually really convenient, and I might add this to the other dress. Um, I might be coming out of the light zone. Um, but you can see maybe that this is, and I haven't done anything to this dress yet. Like I haven't done any fixes or anything. Um, this, this little plastic snap here is um, definitely sewn on incorrectly, like not, not in a good way. Um, I mean, it's on there and it works, um, but the, ideally you would actually sew through all of the holes instead of just across here and across there. You would sew here a bunch of times and then the next one and then around. Um, which if I fix this, maybe I'll do a video on that, like how to put in a snap. Um, Cause this little, and there's the other side uh, sewn in the same way. That actually um, is already, like those threads are pulling and it seems like it's gonna, um, the, like the, those snap pieces are gonna come off. Um, the snap itself is, I've actually never really seen a plastic snap like that before. Um, it's not so bad, but I have metal snaps that I could put on that might actually last longer. But that's actually, that and the little bit of fraying here, um, those are actually my only concerns on this dress. For something I, I spent like, that's a, for something that's a $75 dress, I am not displeased with that at all. Like that's, that's incredibly pleasing that that's all that's wrong with this dress. And it's not even wrong, it's just like, oh, I could fix that here and there. Well, except for maybe the fray, but, uh, you know, I don't know if this dress was intended to be that way. That's, I mean, that's an interesting choice, but it's not a choice I've not seen before. <laughs> like, of, anyway, um, but yeah, this has got this nice corseted top and then the big, the big floof and I'm super excited about this dress and I totally think it's worth the money. So like if you're, if you're looking at, um, I will actually go ahead and post like the exact listings I purchased from, uh, just so you can have a starting place if you're interested in looking at, um, cheap, big poofy ball gowns, um, and, and considering, you know, what, considering that like this company that I, I purchased from got it to me really quick and the, I mean, I paid for the expediting, but it was, it came faster than the expedited shipping was expected to come, which I like that. Um, I like that, but, um, ah. I'm super excited to wear this. Um, I'm gonna do a photo shoot in this actually with um, a friend of mine is a photographer. I'm gonna pay her a little bit and um, go do like a big photo shoot with these and I'll put those photos all over social media and stuff. Um, Cause that's what I do. <laughs> um, and then, okay. <laughs> Speak towards the camera since I'm using the onboard mic anyway. <laughs> Whoops. Um, so the other dress that I purchased, and this is like, this is crazy amazing. Um, so this dress uh, was scheduled not to come to me until November 27th. I got this yesterday on November 10th. This came 17 days early. I did not pay anything for shipping. This was shipped just standard shipping, whatever. The estimate was the earliest it was gonna get to me was November 27th. I got it on the 10th. I'm so, ex like, that was so exciting. I was prepared to wait for this dress. Um, this dress was only about $109, um, if I recall correctly. Uh, but it, yeah, it was like in the, in the hundred, like just over a hundred dollar range. Um, so when I saw, when I saw, when I decided on the purple dress, um, sorry for all the stammering. Um, when I decided on the purple dress and I realized the purple dress was only 75 and then still with the shipping, it was still only like a hundred dollars. I had 
expected to spend at least $200 on the dress that I wanted to purchase uh, when I didn't know what dress I wanted but I knew what style I wanted. Um, it's very easy to spend a thousand dollars on one of these dresses, like very nice, very detailed. They get up that high. Um, so I, I found another like roughly hundred dollar dress and I was like, I'll just get two since I want this cheap purple dress anyway. And um, I wanted my other dress to be pink. I went back and forth between whether I wanted my primary dress to be purple or pink for a long time. Um, and the only reason, usually I would go blue, but I have a blue prom dress. It is not, it is not as poofy as these, and I may actually take it out and show it to you um, in this video as well. But, um, but um, sorry, that's one of my verbal tics that I just realized. I say but um all the time. Anyway, <laughs> so usually I would go blue, but I have a blue dress, so I was like, I want colors that I don't have. I have so much blue, so I went purple, pink, but which one do I pick? And I picked the purple, and then I was like, oh, but the purple is so cheap, I'll get a pink dress too. And this is that dress, and like I told you, it came ridiculously early, and this one is actually even better put together than the other one. Um, it, like, there's, there's zero wrong with this dress. There's, it doesn't have the, uh, the snap on the privacy panel like the other one does, but if I decide that's something I want, I have snaps and I can do that really easily by hand. Um, you know, you don't even usually need them. Like, most of the time you get a corset that has a privacy panel and it won't even have that snap. Um, like it can be nice to have so it doesn't move around, I would imagine, but usually you're tied in so tight to these things that it doesn't move. It's just making sure it gets positioned correctly when you're first being tied into it. Um, <laughs> I cannot lace these dresses myself. Uh, my boyfriend actually has to lace me into these dresses, um, and he's like, all right, fine, I'll do the lacing. And I, uh, I haven't actually taught him how to like properly lace it yet, so um, I may, I may have to teach Mr. Dragon how how to lace. But um, he, he's, he's, he's sporting about it. I think he's willing, because uh, we're, we're, <laughs> we're gonna be together for a while at least, because we live together, and you know the lease is only up in August. But. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I think he's he's okay with that. It's not like a uh, the boyfriend has to do. He's okay with it. Like he he likes he likes all my little quirks. I think um, <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking about the boyfriend and start talking about this gorgeous dress. Um, but like I said, this came super early, and this dress is so freaking gorgeous. Like the um, the image in the listing was actually a little bit um, lighter in color, but this was called hot pink and not like pink or light pink. Um, Cause I thought the light pink seemed a little too light and the hot pink seemed like it would really kind of be good for, for my skin tone and stuff. Um, and I think it is even, even a little bit darker than what I thought it was gonna be. I think it's actually still really flattering to me. And I'm super excited. Um, I have no idea when I'm gonna wear this dress, but to be honest, um, I don't care. <laughs> um, I don't care whether I um, know, like this is why I still have my prom dresses, uh, because I've worn both of those again, and I will probably find excuses to wear them again and again. I have old like thespian home, like thespian, thespian competition dance dresses. Um, from going to the like Florida State Thespian Festival and I have like half of the dresses I wore in high school <laughs> or actually probably all of the dresses I wore in high school honestly and like I get a pretty dress and I'm like I'm not just gonna wear this just for this one event so anyway I think there's gonna be like I'm not sure where that video just cut off because I know my uh, I just hit 20 minutes and my my camera yeah, it starts a new file every 20 minutes, um, I guess to stop me from pirating things or whatever, but I'm like, no, I just want to talk about pretty dresses for an hour. Um, 
So, uh, I'll figure that out and I'll pick up with where I was gonna start again. Um, I was gonna start with just like pointing out that like all of this um, like sequining and rhinestoning, like all of this sewn on stuff, like all of this is perfect. Like it doesn't look like there's anything missing. It doesn't look like this was super shoddily put together or anything, even though it was for what it is, like a really cheap freaking dress. Um, and I'm just super excited. Ugh. Uh, like, I'm just so happy about these dresses. Um, oh, gosh. <laughs> the uh, lace here has just absolutely run away from me. <laughs> but, oh, uh, like, I absolutely want to have a collection of these just, like, gorgeous freaking dresses, because... I just want to find excuses to wear them and look at them and have pictures of me in them. Uh, and just, just even the, the way they sit in the closet, man. Uh, like, maybe it makes me weird, but this, this, like, is super satisfying to me. Seeing these colors next to each other and these fabrics and just, oh, it's just really, really satisfying. Um, if, if you could hear me, because I was talking into the closet again. <laughs> Go me. Uh, so, like I said, um, I'm going to just, like, actually show you my dress collection. The uh, other side of this broke, actually, my, uh, the string for keeping this up. But um, this is my uh, senior prom dress, actually. Um, and it is kind of towards the, like, poofy ball gown style, but it's really, it's also, like, really tame for what it is, like, you can see, it's significantly less poofy, and, um, actually, oh, what I, what else I was gonna go into before I get into, um, showing you all my dresses too much, um, these, these dresses uh, do not do the way they look on the, like, every single image you see um, on, like, Amazon listings or wherever else you're purchasing these dresses from. They're never going to show you the dress as it would sit on you without a petticoat or a hoop skirt. Um, usually hoop skirts for these, like, big hoop skirts. And I have one of those because I want that full that really full, like, cake topper, Barbie cake. It looks like a Barbie cake. I'm gonna call them Barbie cake dresses from now on. You know those cakes where they, like, put the Barbie in there and then make the, the cake the dress? My mom made me one of those when I was little. Ugh. And, like, with having previously known almost nothing about cake decorating, my mom's a champ. Anyway, um, so this is... <laughs> This is the hoop skirt I bought, and this might actually be um, impossible for me to show you the way I tried to show you the dresses. Um, so I have this drawstring hoop skirt, and I'll go ahead and put up the listing for this as well. This arrived in a very timely manner. It's, um, it's very good quality um, and was pretty cheap. Yeah, like look at that. You can't even, um, <laughs> can't even see. But uh, this this is the hoop skirt, and you do not you do not get the big poofy effect without these. Um, I'm going to carefully turn this into another direction and see how much of this hoop skirt I can get on screen by standing on my fucking bed. Like. This is the hoop skirt right here. Like, I still can't quite get it all on screen there. I don't know if you can even hear me. I'm, like, shouting because I'm like, oh, maybe the mic's picking me up. Maybe it's not. But uh, this is what you need. <laughs> I'm a giant. My footsteps are like... Yeah, I'm gonna... Now to go back to the closet, but <laughs> yeah. You absolutely need one of these, and this one was um, pretty cheap, and actually, 
decent quality and when you get them I, f I would love to figure out how they had this done in the first place but apparently this is pretty flexible because when I got it it was in much smaller packaging than the size of this behemoth of a hoop skirt uh, <laughs> but I, I just can't quite figure out how to get it to like fold back up and then I would have to figure out like what to shove it into to get it to stay that way because the bag wasn't like a resealable bag or anything. But that's what it is. And now, so I just I just roughly store it behind everything else um, for now. And I, like I've only had that for like a week, but um, it was super exciting to get it. And um, my. My boyfriend's birthday is actually a couple of days after mine, so his his watch that I bought him for his birthday came in with that hoop skirt. It was an exciting day, um, but and then just going back through my dresses just for fun. Um, this one, and actually my senior prom dress I wore as a Halloween costume in college, my first year of college. I bought like a big feathered pair of angel wings from down to earth and I just like and a mask and I was just a masquerade angel person because <laughs> um my college like does a masquerade every year sometimes it has themes and sometimes it's just the masquerade because one year it was like a circus themed masquerade and then it was just a masquerade <laughs> just the masquerade ball guys um, which is perfectly fine because that's a theme in and of itself but the fact that it's a masquerade like every year and then they sometimes have themed masquerades is interesting um, but yeah so with just like a pair of angel wings and this is this one is my uh, junior prom dress I went pretty uh, short with this and actually my cousin had the same dress in green I have it in this nice like teal sky, like teal light blue um, going on. Uh, she had it in the straight up green and her dress straight up looked like Tinkerbell and this is like blue Tinkerbell. But um, you can see it's got some of the same uh, like, it's got these same like organza flippy floofies uh, just like everything else <laughs> um, I've been showing you because uh, that's, it's poofiness is fun. And the, the cute little lace-up back. Um, I also wore this one on my uh, second college Halloween, but I basically, um, it was like this dress and like rainbow eye makeup and like black, black press-on nails. And I was like, yeah, I was just like a, I don't know, punk prom, whatever. Don't know, don't care. Just did it just to dress up because um, I couldn't afford a real costume <laughs> um, and it was a it was a good reuse of this which was actually bought um, I bought it like at Macy's like on sale after prom the year before I went to prom um, to my junior prom so it was like you know no I don't know I don't know where I was going with that it was like uh, I knew I knew what dress I was wearing for like a whole year because I got it on sale after prom. I think that's where I was going with that statement. I have no idea. And and this uh, this is that thespian uh, like thespian dance dress I was talking about. Um, I, I wore this uh, to uh, Florida State Thespian Festival, uh, the, the like big dance they have at the end of it um, one year. It's like a homecoming style dress, it's purple and then it's got, um, it's purple and black and has these like polka dots at the bottom and just a little bit of like tool, this purple tool that sticks out at the bottom. This dress I, I've worn several times since then. Um, it's actually, yeah, it's actually about two sizes too big, but I have, um, I have adjusted that myself, um, in the back. I've done various things to it, um, that's, 
that's like the fortunate thing about being like a little bit of like a seamstress. Uh, I wouldn't call myself like a seamstress, but I'm a little bit of a seamstress. Um, I'm actually able to alter garments, like if I have something that's like a half size too big, I can fix it um, and make it for me. That's really good for like thrift shopping or sale shopping when like, oh, my size isn't here, but like the next size up is, and that won't fit me naturally, but I can make it work because I have time to fix it. <laughs> um, time and skill. Uh, Anyone can learn the skill, it's just having the time to learn the skill and then having the time to implement stuff. Um, and then like this is like my college graduation dress. Um, I used that as an excuse to, my mom was like, do you want to get like a, a graduation dress? And I was like, yes. And so I was given money and allowed to go go shop for a graduation dress um, and this is it and I have worn this a couple of times since because this is absolutely stunning on me I really like it has um, the high-low uh, skirt the asymmetric there it's called high-low and asymmetric um, where it's all short in the front and then gets longer in the back and I actually I adore that um, like I just I just think for whatever reason I have no idea I'm, I'm obsessed with that cut uh, even though this is like the only dress I have that, that is that I have another skirt that's kind of like that but that's really it um, but yeah that's my that's my pretty shiny glitter dress that I'm like uh, I wore it for like a, a party one time and I like uh, asked my, my friend who was friends with the host, I was like, um, will host of this party be really mad if I, like, leave glitter in their house? Because that thing leaves glitter everywhere. Uh, the, like, back seat of my mom's car after my graduation, which is, like, my college graduation, mind you, um, was like, Pfft. I wore something much trashier to my high school graduation. It looks nice on me, but it's, it's a little bit trashier. Um, I think it's in here, so I might explain. Um, so what I wore, what I wore for my high school graduation was more of like a club wear date night thing. It was uh, this this shirt right here, which is is fun and, and looks nice on me, but like for a formal event, it's trashy. So and then this like black bubble skirt. This has been my like quote unquote date night outfit that's the way I think of it even though I've worn it on like one date ever in my life um, but I have had this outfit since high school and it comes out from time to time when I'm like yeah I just you know want to look that way today um, it looks nice on me certainly but it also it does make a certain statement um, that you know, the, the sort of the elegance of the like nice glitter, uh, it's, it, it's in contrast to that. It's, it's not trashy, it's just trashier. <laughs> but yeah, um, I am not gonna go through my whole closet because I'm sure that's boring. Um, hopefully, I don't know, like I said, like, I don't know, maybe maybe me doing, like, talking about the dresses would be helpful to, like, other people, because I'm not going to make a gendered assumption about you. Um, <laughs> other people might be interested in learning about these dresses a little bit and, like, hearing what my experience was with, like, ordering these dresses from China through Amazon, um, ordering from sellers that or, or collections of sellers that are harder to look up I haven't done yet like harder to verify their validity and stuff going through Amazon is a really good bet and um, there's a huge there's actually a huge huge selection of these like styles of dresses so going elsewhere isn't doesn't feel a hundred percent necessary um, <laughs> and is more risky um, usually with Amazon Amazon holds some responsibility, so if there's like an Amazon Marketplace seller who gyps you, 
no, I don't want to. <clears throat> so if there's like an Amazon market uh, seller who who um, tries to scam you, you're fine, or you're not necessarily well, fine. Uh, Amazon will do more to like get you your money back and try to deal with the seller and reprimand the seller and maybe drop them entirely and all that stuff. That's what I mean to say. <laughs> um, anyway. Uh, so that is the end of the video. As you can tell, I have absolutely winded myself, which is an interesting experience for me. Um, it's really hot in here. Like, I can usually talk this long without absolutely, like, winding myself, but it's really hot in here right now because I have the fan off so that you can hear me. Um, but yeah. So that was a, this was productive. Fun day, guys. All right. I'll see you later. Who knows what I'll be talking about then.